The MSI G76 Raider 12U is possibly one of the most insane laptops ever seen on YouTube. This beast of a laptop has all the features you could ever want in a gaming slash productivity setup. Let me add that this includes the fastest mobile CPU on the market, the Intel Core i9-12900HK, as well as the largest mobile GPU available, the NVIDIA 3080Ti. Not only that, they also included 32 gigs of DDR5 memory clocked at 4800 MHz. This incredible combination makes this laptop a must have for anyone who can afford it. Now, when we look at the GE76 Raider, the chassis itself hasn't been altered since we tested it in late 2021. It has nearly identical measurements as last year and weighing a hefty 6.3 pounds. The Raider's aggressive hinges and big cooling vents and multi-zone RGB light bulb seal its identity as a gaming laptop. The supplied SteelSeries app and keyboard allows you to customize the light bar and per key RGB keyboard backlighting as well. Considering that this is the same chassis as last year, the display hasn't changed at all. It's still a 17-inch Full HD 1080p monitor that refreshes at an astounding 360Hz. Though now you have more options to regard on display resolution when purchasing this laptop. You can have it with a 4K or 1440p display as well. The GE76 Raider comes equipped with nearly all the necessary connectivity you need in a laptop. The more permanent ports like an HDMI and power are all conveniently located behind the laptop, making it as simple to set up as a docking station on your desk. After all, it is a desktop replacement. Thanks to its new high-end CPU and premium GPU, the GE76 Raider is certainly one of the fastest gaming laptops on the market right now. 4 terabytes of SSD storage and 32 gigs of RAM provide a robust foundation for many years of gaming and productivity enjoyment. The Core i9-12900HK includes 6 hyperthreading enabled performance cores and 8 non-hyperthreading efficiency cores. On the performance cores, the 12900HK can reach up to 5 GHz, and while if you were looking for the i7 version of this CPU, that can only reach 4.7 GHz, giving you that extra 300 MHz performance increase. The included Iris XC graphics is another noticeable feature of the Alder Lake generation of CPUs. The iGPU will handle all the light operations such as office, video playback, and web surfing, resulting in a lower power consumption and also a longer battery life. Now with all these new internal components, let's jump into the performance aspect of this laptop. PC Mark 10 and Geekbench were used to assess CPU's performance. PC Mark 10 gave the laptop a score of roughly 7600 points. On Geekbench 5, we scored around 1755 on the single core score and around 11627 on the multi core score. Jumping on to the 3D Mark X Spy score, we were able to squeeze out nearly 12,811 points, almost breaking the 13,000 point barrier. Based on these numbers, the Raider GE76 in 2022 looks to be a major improvement over the late 2021 laptop that uses the last generation i9. The Intel Core i9-12900HK is a powerful processor. The fast NVMe drives and the high-end CPU and GPU combination both had a role in these test scores. NVIDIA's new GeForce RTX 3080 Ti is also a true performance monster, as seen by in-game benchmarks in games like Halo Infinite, Elden Ring, and Cyberpunk 2077. All three games are simulation, open-world action-adventure, and also competitive esports titles. In Halo Infinite, we achieved roughly 120 to 130 FPS on all full ultra settings. While playing on Cyberpunk 2077, I was getting around 50 to 60 FPS, all maxed out with RTX and DLSS enabled. We were able to achieve around 60 FPS on Elden Ring on max settings. Since this is a console port, 60 FPS is more than enough. Overall, it has a objectively good real world gaming performance. Though you won't be able to use the full 360 hertz on the screen in most recent AAA games, but you will be able to do so in some eSport titles. Nvidia's latest 3080 Ti flagship is literally unfazed by the most difficult games even though it's not the full desktop version. It does have a lower TDP and also lower amounts of CUDA cores with a lower clock frequency. 
even though with those handicaps, this card screams performance. Because this year's chassis is the same as last year's, system noise is practically equal to that of the 2021 model. When you're playing games in extreme performance settings, the fan is still quite audibly loud. Despite the fact that the GE76 can be somewhat noisy, we still believe the cooling system is a major success for this laptop. On the CPU and GPU, temperatures never really exceeded 80 degrees while gaming. This means that the CPU and GPU never thermal throttle, which is great for performance. While gaming, the actual chassis remained absolutely cool to the touch on any surface, so it makes it a comfortable gaming experience. In terms of battery life, MSI chose a massive 99.9 watt hour model once again. Even with the new Alder Lake CPU update, the 2022 version was able to achieve around 3 to 4 hours of use under normal conditions. A very slight improvement over last year's model, but quite enough for a 17 inch laptop. We're a little unhappy that the camera hasn't changed since last year. It's still a good webcam overall that offers 1080p 30fps, but it would have been nice if they upped the frame rate or increased the field of view. Now, the combination of an i9-12900HK processor and a 3080 Ti graphics card and 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and two NVMe SSDs provide plenty of performance for years to come, as well as plenty of power for creators or professionals. The integrated 360Hz panel, rapid response time, and also outstanding color fidelity impressed us for the display. Now, with all these features enabled in this laptop, it does come at a price, a very steep price. Expect to pay anywhere between four to $5,000 on this particular model that I have here available today, and that's in Canadian pricing. There are cheaper options that you can get from MSI with the GE76 Raider with different configurations. Ultimately, the GE76 Raider is the quickest generation yet. However, MSI needs to commit to a new design for this laptop. Personally, if I was looking for a desktop replacement, this probably would be on my top of the list, especially if price was no concern. And that brings us to the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed the review for the GE76 Raider laptop from MSI. And if you haven't already, then please smash that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. Also, special thanks to Intel for sending us this laptop review. For the most up-to-date tech news, please also subscribe and join us on our Discord channel. This is David of Freelhardt Reviews, signing off.